every time I've set up a new Xbox, I pause for a moment at this screen. Hmm, energy savings. Ooh, automatic updates, remote features, and fast startups? Sign me up. Yup, I always end up selecting sleep mode. But what if, what if I chose energy savings? How much energy or money, cause money is what really matters, would I save? My Xbox Series X has been on sleep mode for about 24 hours now, and it's been reading between 10 and 15 watts of power consumption. If I do change it over to energy savings mode, that power consumption drops to only 0.5 watts. So that's about 0.3 kilowatt hours of electricity savings per day or 110 kilowatt hours per year. If you live in a country like Germany where electricity prices are some of the highest in the world, well that's a whopping 58 euros in savings over a year. 45 pounds a year of savings in the UK. For the US, the number doesn't look too bad, about $18. And for me personally here in Canada, about $15 Canadian. I have some other countries listed on this table as well. The Xbox Series S is similar, but it does have slightly lower power consumption in standby mode. Not by much though. If I was to switch my Series S to energy savings mode, I would have saved $12 a year. My friends in the US would have saved $15 and those in Germany would have saved about 51 euros. There's a few other countries listed here as well. The PlayStation 5 is a lot more energy efficient in sleep or standby mode. PS5 uses only about 1.3 watts in standby mode. That's 10 times less than the Series S and X. Having your PS5 on standby mode for the whole year will only cost you about $1.50 in Canada, just under $2 in the US, and only about 6 euros for my friends in Germany. So if you're comparing sleep mode energy consumption, the PS5 wins hands down. My German friends can pretty much go buy a new game with that 58 euros they're gonna save every year. Think of it this way, if you bought the Xbox Series S at launch two and a half years ago, well you could have just gotten a PS5 digital with that 128 euros you would have saved in your electricity bill. Some interesting personal numbers for me, I've had my three consoles since launch for over two years now, pretty much all plugged in and on standby mode, I would have saved about $60 if I picked that energy savings option, which I guess over two, two and a half years doesn't sound too bad. But still, $60, that's a complete game. Now if I lived in Germany, that's a whole nother story. That's a whopping 250 euros. And that number does sound pretty big. So the next time you're on this screen for your Xbox, just think a little bit about the money you can save by just going energy savings mode.